Hey guys, Brad M73 here. Welcome back to Star Citizen and the final day of the International uh, Intergalactic Aerospace Expo 2953. I always get international and intergalactic mixed up. I, I Not that I get it mixed up, but it's, it's kind of one of those tongue twisters that comes out wrong from time to time. But as always, don't forget to like, share, comment, and please subscribe. And if you want to get started in Star Citizen, use my referral link down in the video description and you'll get an extra 5,000 Alpha UEC in-game credits. Um, let's see. T yeah, today is basically... It's not really the last day, but it's kind of like the last day. Um, today is best in show. So we've got the four ships... Um, the 600i that for some reason doesn't have landing gear uh the redeemer the vulture and then the corsair which actually won first place does it show which place each one of them got i see second place there did these guys tie for third place i don't know maybe these are the runner-ups but uh you can see the 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 best in show color scheme is kind of like this bluish purple color and it's iridescent it's got like these stripes in it very nice looking i actually like this color scheme um I'm, i don't like the like the turquoise color nearly as much but i think the Re redeemer looks really good the 600 i looks pretty good uh the vulture i think looks really nice it's yeah this one looks really nice the ice a lot of the paint jobs for the vulture look nice though like being that it's just a salvage ship you know i wasn't really expecting too much from it but um they really kind of nailed the the paint scheme on these things <laughs> i don't know why but I, ha I haven't really seen a, a paint that I don't like for the Vulture yet. So, yep, there's the Redeemer, the 600i, which I don't... Actually, I don't own a 600i. Maybe I should buy one really quick just so I can get the... Um, just so I can get the best in show paint. Ah, what's going on? Oh. Wait, how do I get up there? Oh, we go up here. Second place, first place. There we go. And it looks like somebody unfolded the wings. And so one of the wings is down in the floor. That's... Or I don't know. Maybe that was like a decision on CIG's part. And we'll do a quick run around. Now, the other cool thing I should mention before you get out of here and run to the showroom floor um, is the, uh, the rental kiosks are open on the lower level we're going to run down there in just a moment and you'll you'll be able to see what that looks like first drake corsair is this the first time a drake ship has won first place um i don't know i think it might be but the, the corsair is a pretty cool ship so well earned well earned all right. So yeah, if you want to come to the showroom, and which will will be open, this will be open until November thirtieth. So you still have some, you know, a few more days to take advantage of the free fly event if you haven't already. Um, you can run down here. You can rent any ship in the game that's currently flyable. Um, there may be a couple of exceptions out there, but I think uh, for the most part, everything is in game. And it's going to be right down here. You can see there's going to be traveler kiosks. And you can literally go through. You can run up to any one of these. You can go down through any of the... Apparently you can rent an Ursa without wheels or with wheels inside. No, if you rent that, um, you'll get an Ursa. Uh, I want to see if the F8C is, is available to rent. I would actually be surprised. Yeah, it does not. So that doesn't surprise me that the F8C isn't available. But pretty much everything else, um, you know, is going to be there. Are all the new ships? Uh, let's see. What was the other one that I wanted to look at?
Yeah, the SRV's even in there. So, so yeah, you can come right down here and rent most of the ships <laughs> that are flyable, with with just a few exceptions. Oh, I love how there's they they still left a door to go uh, to the the rear of this display, though we can't use it. I'm sure. But oh, oh 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 oh, we also have weapons displays. So all the weapons in the game are going to be on display for you to check out. Um, I don't think you can. I think. Oh, can you actually buy them? Oh, nice! You can actually buy them in game from here. That's pretty cool. What is the machine gun? Oh, these are LMGs. Oh, you can even buy rail guns. Oh, and like everybody's gonna stock up on rail guns. I don't see the FS9. Where's the FS9? FS9 should be under the machine guns, but it's not there. Probably it's just too good. It's too cool. And then they have the uh, the special edition IAE um, venture armor. The Xanthul suit and the Caldera armor. And look at that. Look at the... Um, look at the pattern on it. It's kind of like luxury. I don't know if it's luxury or not. Uh, cold environments. Yeah, it doesn't really say much about... Yeah, the special IAE 2953 edition... Um, so you can buy this. You can buy all this, the suits separately for like 12 bucks. But then they've got a pack with all three suits and all of the um, the the IAE version uh, weapons. And it's like 50 bucks, but it's like marked down. And uh, who knows how much longer that'll be on sale for. But I would expect it to be at least until the end of the month or maybe you know heading into early December. So that's it, guys. That is it for this year's Intergalactic Aerospace Expo. There's really no need for me to come back and do any more uh, episodes on the finale because I think they just leave the best in show ships up. If they don't, they'll take those down, um, not tomorrow, but uh, Tuesday, and then it'll just be a open floor with you know the ability to run downstairs and rent all the ships. So, yeah. Thank you all for joining me for this year's Intergalactic Aerospace Expo uh, 2953 or 2023. Um, as always, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in future videos. I'm Brad M73. Bye for now.